Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to attempt to sculpt a clock tower. So let's just talk about this for a minute. This is Sculpey Original. This is the clay I was telling you guys I hated. Here's the box. I hated for all my little things. And I was trying so hard not to use it, but as much clay as comes in, comes in here and as cheap as it is, I think that this is best for big sculptures and stuff. Like what I'm getting ready to do now. The, the inside will be aluminum foil though. And I have a few colors. This is just going to be the, the base. Um, what I make everything out of and I'll end up eventually detailing it with these. And this is some of the, the ugly white I had left over here. I have some black, some gray, and some brown. And I think I'm going to mostly need some gray. So I'll probably mix the black, this black with that to give me more gray. And the reason why I was inspired to do a clock tower is because I found I found these bad boys at Walmart and I thought oh my god let me make a clock tower out of these look at these and I have four because they're gonna go on each side of my sculpture <clears throat> so without further ado let's get started shall we Hi guys, so here we go. We're going to take our aluminum foil, get the basic shape that we want, try to square it off as much as possible, beating on it, whatever you got to do. I should have spent more time doing this, but I didn't. I, I really wish. Next time I will. I learn now. Now, I'm going to roll out my clay and put it through the pasta machine a few times to get it the right, right size. Uh, square this off, wrap it around, tighten down all the edges and seal the, the seams. Get it straight, and here comes my base. I'm going to roll out the base with my awl. Cut out a hole for it to stand in, because I don't want it to move while I'm putting it together. So, yeah, it's, it's just security. And then I go and I bake it, just to extra security. So, before I baked it, I did put a little bit of extra, like a wrap around the bottom and a wrap around the top, and circles to where my clock was going to go. And I just, I wanted to make sure that I knew where my, my pieces were going to go. And now I'm working on the roof. And to be honest, I spent way too much time fiddling with this roof. And it's like I told a friend today when they asked for my help in polymer clay, is don't, th this is the lesson I learned right here. And this is how I learned not to fiddle with something too much because I think about halfway through fiddling with this roof it did look good it it looked perfect and I should have left it at that but I didn't here I am putting in the backings to my clocks to set them in place to try and make them stick out a little bit further this is just a step away from my roof making and then I go right back to it though I'm building up around my clocks so it doesn't look so circularly cir circular. I'm <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just I should have made a round roof. I think I think if I did a round roof, it would look a lot better. And yeah, but I'm just building up around the the clock, trying to make it the right shape. And here comes the circles around the clock. Now, I did that because I wanted it to look like that. I really, really wanted it to look like that. But in all in all, I, it just didn't match with my triangle roof. Now, if I did my circle roof, I think they would have been a perfect match for each other. But you live and learn. This, this is the fun of playing with clay. Here I am trying to mash it all out and make sure it's perfect around. And one of them wasn't, so I took it out and redid it again. <laughs> this is me doing the bottom underneath. I, I couldn't figure out how to get it to square off 
uh, evenly, so I did an angle. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is just so much. Oh, God. Here we go. Here I am messing with the roof again. Now, this is the part where I should have just left it right here. I mean, it's, it's not pushed in, and it looks pretty good. I mean, it does need a little touch up, but see how I'm pushing and pushing and pushing it in, and it's messing it up, and... I didn't realize it at the time. I just wanted it to look right. And I, I, in the end, I, I just couldn't get it to do what I wanted it to do. But I, I mashed and mashed and mashed in my circles. Here I am doing that because it didn't look right with my triangle roof. Um, it's Now I'm making the little whimsical tips. These were to make it look like my clock tower belonged in a fairy tale or the woods. I wanted it to be a fairy clock tower. And that's that's what I that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm, we're gonna go with a fairy clock tower because it's really cute. I mean, the roof could be better, but we're not gonna harp on that. <laughs> Here I am putting in head pins. I used head pins to give it that kind of fancy type look on the top, and I think that that really made it look cool. Still messing with the roof. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This took me a total of three days. Three days of awesome, awesome, awesome hard work, and I'm paying for it now. It it was really fun and it was a learning experience. I I learned a lot by doing this, and I know now what to do and where to go from here. Here I am smoothing out everything, making sure it looks nice, getting rid of some fingerprints, um, and then I'm pasta machine. Yes, <laughs> pasta machine again, <laughs> and then I cut out pieces uh, to add to the bottom side and around, trying to make it more square. I'm using these pieces to build up the bottom. And I don't know why I keep going off camera. Okay, so I skipped that because I didn't I didn't like it. So I go on to something else. I always skip and go on something else. This is me trying to texture out the clock tower itself. Now I was trying to make it look like a old stone type thing. I was thinking wood at first, but wood just didn't look right. And it looks like ratty old old stone I think <laughs> so here I am messing with the freaking roof again trying to get it to look right and I did learn here that I could do a brick texture and I was thinking about painting it red and then I didn't I just left it because it looked pr pretty cool after it come out of the oven hello guys and here you go this is the finished product um if you are coming from the polymer clay tribe, you've already seen the picture. But here's an up close. There's a <clears throat> there's a stump in some bushes with flowers in the back. There's some little um, flowers in the front. There's some trees, and there's a little flower bed right there in the window. Um, yeah, here it is, all done. I'm sorry that the other video files, I think I lost like a day and a half of video of me finishing it off. Those files were lost. I don't know how, I haven't figured it out, but <laughs> I managed to save what I could and that is what you guys have seen. And I am heartbroken and sad. Oh my goodness. All that work. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll hope to catch y'all next time. Bye.